Hello and welcome to the Dave Trumbo Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined by Stevenson Beach Volleyball Head Coach Dave Trumbo. And uh, Coach, um, you've played uh, about about half your season, yeah. uh, especially a lot. Um, you were down Florida last week for spring break. Um, first, let's talk about the uh, match out in uh, Principia with uh, uh, Fort Wayne. Just talk about how that went overall for you. Well, that, that was real interesting, Greg, because it was indoor. It was the first yeah. NCAA indoor beach volleyball tournament. Yeah. And I, you know, I, I think that... Um, it was good learning for us. Yeah. There was no wind, and I think at times that was a disadvantage is for us when we were smaller uh, yeah. than some of the teams uh, with with no wind, and we have pe people that are used to playing in the wind. Right. Um, but we we went two and two, yeah. and some of the matches uh, uh, were really close. I you know when we lost four to one to Division One Moorhead. Two of those matches went three. We didn't win either one of them, yeah. so we lost four one. Had we won the matches that went three, we would have won three two. Right. So some of the times it seems a lot closer than it really seems on paper. Yeah, absolutely. And then uh, similar this past week in Florida, I mean, you, know, you played some Division two schools, um, and especially um, Florida Southern on Saturday. You played and played a double duel with them, and um, you know the last match, the second match was four one, but certainly a lot closer with all the matches going five and that. Yeah, all the you know and Darian. Um, Heilman and Piper Connors one and two, yeah. uh, and of course they've stepped up the number ones with yeah. the injury to Jang Christensen. Yeah. Uh, so then at two, three, four, and five, they all went three. But unfortunately, we didn't win any of them. Right. So the score said four to one, but boy, it was really close, and it was coming down to the end. Our twos yeah. and threes are playing, and it, and they were both in good position to win. And unfortunately, they didn't. They didn't. They weren't able to pull it out. Yeah, and obviously that's a big factor in the trip. Is obviously you had an injury, the injury to Jang, and so you. It's not simply like maybe an indoor volleyball where someone else will just slide in her spot. Right. You know, you're mixing up all the pairings. Now your number one, your number two pairing went to number one, but a lot of your other pairings got mixed up. So you have kids that necessarily haven't played with each other a lot. And just talk about that and how it, you know, ultimately probably a learning experience. It ultimately makes you better, but in the short run, obviously, it's almost more like a practice that you're trying to learn to play with each other. Yeah, uh, it, you're exactly right. Because Jang was a one, it wasn't as simple as taking somebody that was on your bench and putting her in there. Right. Uh, so we moved Piper and Darian into ones, and then Katie Leffridge, who was Jang's partner, she needed a partner. Yeah. So we moved Emily Polini from the fours up to play with Katie at two. Yeah. <laughs> and then we kept our threes the same. Yeah. Uh, and now then Mackenzie needed a new partner at fours. Yeah. And so she we ended up moving up uh, Grace Chaffee from fives yeah. to play with her, and then um, Sammy Porter and Sarah Riggan played five. So yeah. uh, three of the five pairs had a different partner. Yeah. So it definitely was challenging, but we got better. Yeah. We got better, and in like the second match against Weber, it was you know both matches against Weber, it was three to two, and that was the first time with a new lineup. Yeah. Uh, and then as the week progressed, we actually played more difficult opponents. Right. So it might not look like we got better, but I think we did a lot of learning and trying to figure out how our team is best. Now that we'll have everybody when we got back, now we have two weeks to figure it out before we go to Knoxville. Yeah. Yeah, and so, like you said, as you as the week went on, you got better, and certainly that Florida Southern match proved it with that second match, especially where you were right there, and mm -hmm. um, and that was the last match of the week for you. Yes, guys yeah, that would have been great to be able to put, hang a W up there. Yeah. But uh, this is all for seeding for the small college national championship, right. uh, and when you know, I think in another couple of weeks, and I really do think that we our potential to get better is a lot greater because. Yeah. Florida Southern has been practicing since the second week in January. Right. We started practicing. It's a little warmer in Florida? Yeah. yeah, yeah. In Lakeland, Florida? I right. <laughs> uh, so I, it will give us more time to uh, refine our skills. And we've got a lot of kids that haven't played a lot of beach. They've yeah. played some. So I think they learned a lot. You learn every time you play. Yeah. Uh, and Because each opponent attacks you differently. Right. Uh, so it was, it, was, it was a really good week. And I, think, I do think we got a lot better. Yeah. And certainly, you know, talk about that seeding. Your next, you're off this weekend. The following weekend, you, like you said, you head down to Tennessee uh, against two opponents again that you'd be fighting with seeding with, and, and Carson Newman and Lincoln Memorial. Yes, yeah, I think they're both. I know, I know Carson Newman. I think Lincoln Memorial is in that small college yeah. as well. So that'll go a long way. We, the, hot, the better seed we have, the better draw we'll get, of right. course. Uh, and uh, so we're looking forward. We're actually taking a bus down to Tennessee. Yeah. Uh, so we've not been down to their courts before, and they were up here last last um, spring. So we're going we're going to get yeah. Down. We've been up here a couple times so right. since mm -hmm. we started. So yes. in the following week, um, you know, you host you know our tournament. Let's hope for uh, some nice weather. Yes, and Huntington, uh, the a Division three team from Alabama is coming up. Yeah. 
Uh, and they are playing really good volleyball. They're yeah. playing some Division One teams really tough, and they've had a, they have a much better team. So that's going to be very competitive. We play them on each day, along with Loyola of Maryland and uh, Liberty University. Yeah, yeah, a couple of Division One players, not Division One beach programs, but still Division One indoor players. Yes. So. Yes. Certainly, um, give you a test as well. well. Liberty actually, it's their club team. It's their club team. Okay. So it, they are beach players. Okay. So they have not. They are in the a, the, the A Sun. Okay. Yes, and so we, with a lot of beach teams in the A Sun, I'm expecting Liberty to, to probably go to beach. You know, very right, soon right they've got soon. beautiful courts down there. Yeah. So uh, yeah, so they should be a pretty good opponent. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Coach. Well, um, wish you the best of luck in you know last the next couple of weeks as you wrap up and ramp up towards the small college championship, and uh, we'll chat soon. Oh, thanks, Greg. All right, for Dave Trumbo, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Dave Trumbo Show.